What are we doing? We are recording our... Damn it. <laughs> Damn it what? <laughs> our first episode. We can't stop the recorder. Of lyrical laxatives. It is lyrical laxatives. Um, yes, this is our first episode. We, <laughs> we had just covered... That this wasn't, we weren't going to state that this was the first episode in case this wasn't the first episode. But it turns out this is the inaugural episode of Lyrical Laxatives. I like how you used inaugural the yes. proper way. <laughs> yes, I, I've been watching other podcasts and they happen to use it in the same way, so I figured it was safe. Um, which is interesting because that's how words work and that's ultimately what the topic is for this episode. Um, words. Words. What kind of words? All words. So, what about words? So, words are quite useful. Um, I've noticed on a number of podcasts that words are quite important, and a lot of people like to use big words. Um, I often use big words when I'm struggling to say stuff, when those big words aren't necessarily the right words to use. I do um, the same thing. Yes, it's to sound more intelligent. Yeah. And I just hope that the person I'm saying it to doesn't know the word either, so I they just think I'm using it properly. Or you, you just say it and make you sound really confident. And then if they realize that you're saying the wrong word, they just look at you and know that you're stupid. So, so just, it so just own it either way. They, they can just be impressed that you know a big word. That's, they could, as long as they don't ask me to spell it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, right. So... Um, there's particular YouTubers that I've come across, oh, not YouTubers, uh, podcasters that I've come across that uh, use some impressive words. In fact, just about all of them use impressive words. Um, and the reason I bring this what up... What makes a word impressive? Does um, it have to be length? Does it have to be... It's not always about length. Does it have to be about as many syllables? It just matters how you use it. But what... Why is a word such as neat not such a neat word to use, but a word like... Neat is not a complicated word. It's a simple word. But cliche. Cliche is it's relatively simple. Most people know what cliche is, it's, but it's, it's a fancy sounding word. It does sound fancy. Okay. Right. Uh, it's more uh, words like... Um, uh, hmm. I don't have any examples because that's actually the reason I'm bringing up this topic is my my vocabulary is not as complex or as well-rounded as I'd like it to be. And there's a reason behind that. I don't have the best words, unlike certain people who have the greatest words. I don't have those words. I don't have the words either. And, and I would like them, but there's a reason behind that. And the reason is that I hate reading. You know, I sometimes I hate reading. I have to pick the topic wisely, and then I can read about it. Agreed. Um, this, I mean, I'll read. I'll read uh, general general news. I'll read uh, articles on on um, on uh, news websites and things like that. And some things will catch my eye, and uh, some things will interest me. But generally, um, reading stuff, I I find quite boring. Um, and it's not because I want it to be boring. Um, I've, I've thought about this a lot. And the reason that I don't, um, it, it frustrates me, is because I want to get to the story, but I don't want to have to read all the information beforehand. I just want to be able to know the story without having to go through all the reading. So you want the bullet points. Instant gratification. I am 100%. I read the headline. If the headline doesn't attract me, boop, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Right, right. But even if it does, even if it, um, even if it doesn't attract me, I would some stories I'd I'd like to read. But I I open up the article and I look at the words, and I get bored instantly. Um, I, 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 I start reading it, but it makes me tired, and I give up, and I just wish that I knew what the article was about. I have a habit of clicking on a story to to read, and I'll get, you know, almost all the way through it, and ah, screw it, I'm done with this. 
and I'll always just scroll down to see how much I'm missing out on if I, uh, if I don't finish reading the article. And I, I kid you not, I could be one or two paragraphs away from finishing it, but it's already lost my interest. So I can't even tolerate reading those two paragraphs. Right. Just screw it. So, right. So articles, yeah, they, they hit a miss. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, just poured myself a little drink. That's one thing that uh, we do do on this uh, lyrical laxatives is we drink to increase the laxative effect of our talking. Um, and put our anxiety at rest. Yeah. Um, so, um, no, I, I forgot my train of thought. Um, so, um, yes, reading articles is um, hit or miss. But books, forget about them. Um, I wish that I had the patience and the desire to read books th- for the entirety of the book. Um, not just so that I could get the story and enjoy a good story, but um, so I could increase my vocabulary. So I could use better words and have a better podcast to entice my listeners to a fantastic See, I, I could put a word right there, but I don't know what it is. Because you don't read. You exactly. Gotta go, you got to go pick up a Danielle Steele book. Yeah, those words are limited. My mom, From what I understand, I haven't read them. My mom is a voracious reader. She'll Vivacious? Voracious. Is that like a dinosaur? Yes. Just kidding. You just called my mom old. <laughs> Hope she doesn't listen. <laughs> She'll be our only listener. She's going to listen to her baby boy. <laughs> Anywho, uh, what were we just talking about? You were talking about uh, your mom listening. Oh, uh, being a reader. Being or, a reader yes. Yeah, a reader. She'll buy, she used to, I think she still does, buy just those crappy, trashy novels at the checkout at, at the grocery store. And That's like me with candy bars. But that, my mom, and I remember as a kid going to Wegmans with her, and sitting there, and she'd pick up this book, and it's, you know, 400. Not sponsored by Wegman. <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't be sorry. And she'd pick up, you know, a 400-page novel and, uh, you know, throw it in the cart and go grocery shopping the next the next weekend with her. And, oh, I need another book because she already finished the 400-pager she bought the week before. Yes. I, uh, I certainly don't understand that. Um, that's like a friend of mine who... Uh, who likes to read, but then once she's read the book, she will proceed to read it multiple times throughout the year. Um, that doesn't make sense to me. Not at all. Once I've read the book, I'm done with the book. How many books have you read this year? This year? Mm-hmm. We're what, 25 days in? Yes. None. Okay. How many books did you read last year? And I'm, by books, I mean novels, uh, fiction. What about uh, instruction books? No, no. Uh, zero. Okay. Just making sure. That's the kind of books I'm talking about. Storybooks that... Uh, yeah, I know what you if mean. You, if you read it once, it's like watching a movie, but you would watch the same movie over and over again, except rather than taking two hours, it takes uh, two days, or however long it takes to read a book. I, I don't know. Most people, it takes a little while. Yes. So, um, reading, reading books um, over multiple days... I don't, I don't, to me, it seems like a waste of time. And I know that seems, um, once again, another word I could put in there that would fit perfectly. But um, I am, an, I guess, an instant gratification person. I'll watch a movie. If it, if there's a movie rather than a book, I'll watch the movie uh, because that'll be more enjoyable to me. I need my eyes to be stimulated, not my... Well, I guess you use your eyes to read too, but it's a different kind of stimulation. Um, Brady reads every night. Every single night she reads before she goes to bed. Mm. Brady's my wife. Yeah. Well, I mean, rather talk to you than I I understand that. (laughs) (laughs) True. Um, But yes, no. So there's a lot of people who do that. Like you were saying, your mom's a reader. Mm -hmm. My mom reads books. Her her walls are littered with books. I mean, it's not wallpaper, it's books. I used to read a lot in my early 20s. Mm. I, and when I lived up in Maine, I read a lot up there. I had no friends. I had nothing to do but read. 
Had no friends but then? No. Okay. I got three or four now. Oh, okay, good. Even it's, though you I've got, I've got one friend. Yeah, not sitting in this room. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've, I've read, I can honestly say that I've read one book um, through it, the entire book. I, well, I might this, have skipped some pages. Does this include school or is this, this post? Is, this is a book I read for school. Come and on. Then I, and then I... Uh, South Africans read. Did you see your literacy rate? 93%. There's no way you... I didn't see that literacy rate. When did you see that? That was at the... Uh, the gas station? No, the, the Mankind... The, information the, the, the Mankind place with all the fossils. Oh, yes. That, uh, was a, that was a fantastic place. I thoroughly enjoyed that place purely for its history and its... Uh, I, if I had read more about it while we was there, I would have been far more impressed. But Yeah, right on the wall. It had the uh, literacy rates for the countries around those the world. Those were emoticons. And it was, South Africa was like 92 or 93 percent. So there's no way you can tell me you went to South African schools and only read, read one book mm. in your matriculated, however the hell you guys say. I, I, I literally would read one book. Um, when we were told to go home and read a book and come back and write a review on that book, it was one book. It was a book called God's Gods by Terry Pratchett. Why that? You I don't remember what it was about. And it didn't increase my um, vocabulary as much as I'd like it to have. Um, but if I had read more books, I'm sure I'd have a fantastic vocabulary. But you guys had literature classes. You had, you had stuff like that. How do you not read books? I hated reading books, but I... Oh, asked. no, no, no. We we read books like uh, Cry the Beloved Country and all of that through class. But that would be where um, Jim, Bo Jim Bob... Because <laughs> that's South a real African South name, African. Typical South African name, Jim Bob sitting over there. And Mary Jo sitting over there. It was an all-boys school, so that's a weird <laughs> that's, name for Mary Jo. Just use who you know. Um, uh, Andrew. Goth. Goth. Um, Hans. Hans. Um, yeah, those three guys. Um, the, Goth would read five pages. Hans would read three pages. And Stephen would read four pages. But I'll still give you, that's reading a book. And I hated that because... Oh, it sucked. Yes, because my name was in the middle. Uh, my alphabet, in the alphabet, my name was in the middle. So I got to... Uh, it was usually good because they would start at the, the um, bottom of the alphabet... And then um, get all the way to the middle, and then they would the bell would ring, um, or it would start at the top of the alphabet, uh, bottom, top, whatever. Um, it would start at the other side of the alphabet, and it would go all the way to the middle, and stop in the middle, and I wouldn't get picked on. So I, I usually like being in the middle there, um, but then every now and then we'd get called on to read, um, and I hated that. See, I was in the beginning of the alphabet, and I always had to go to the bathroom. That too. Okay. Um, so, um, what's interesting about all of this is, um, I, I'm complaining about reading and don't get me wrong. Reading is, is an awesome thing. It's, and, and as I'm trying to convey, um, reading is great for your vocabulary. It's great for your knowledge, your general knowledge. It's great to get ideas and perspectives from other people. Um, I completely understand that, but I don't like it. I just, it, I literally cannot get into it. And but that's if you could... purely me. But I, I just want to finish this one point. Um, the reason it's weird is that I love, I absolutely loved, uh, especially in high school, writing stories. I, I love telling a story. And that was one of my favorite classes was, or favorite parts of English was writing a story or an, an essay. Um, essay. <laughs> and making up some story that other people would read. Usually I got bored writing it, just like I did with reading, but a lot slower than I do with reading. Um, it's, uh, it was, it was, it was awesome. I loved reading. I loved writing a story. I almost gave myself away there. I don't, I don't love reading. But I remember I used to have enjoyable moments going to the bookstore. Again, this is when I was in my early twenties and just picking up books and they smell great. Oh, and you they smell, smell fantastic. great. Fantastic. I love that. I could sit in a bookstore, a new bookstore all day long and smell yes. that. 
And if you have a coffee store next to it, it's coffee and new books. Coffee and book smell. But no, I used to love it. I I just used to go pick a pick a section, and I would just go walk in it and start looking. All I would do is I was look I would look at the cover art, or if the the binder of the book as it was on the shelf. Playboy magazines. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, the you know if it had something that caught my eye or the the title of the book caught my eye I'd sit down and I mean there were times I'd sit there and I'd read 50 pages in the book and I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna buy this but I just lost track of time sitting here reading the book cheers by the way cheers um so so you read the books and you enjoyed them when I was reading when they were free and you didn't have to pay for them no I would buy them and take them home and finish them okay um, no, when I would read a lot, I was reading probably, say, an average book was like 250 to 300 pages. I, that would take me two weeks, depending upon the the level. That was the um, extended version of Dick and Jane? Yes, yes. Uh, scratch and Sniff and uh, Opposable Choose Figures. Choose Your Own Adventure. yes. <laughs> Which were uh, actually fun. I enjoyed Choose Your Own Adventure. I didn't finish them, but... Well, I remember I'd read it, and it's like, okay, I'm going to go to page 53. And you start reading 53. Oh, the shit, that sucks. I want to go back to page 14. <laughs> go back again. Load your save game. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? I'm going all over the goddamn book, and I can't find anything I want to fucking read. Yeah, so um, so reading, reading words and all of that, that's... Uh, that's that's what I wanted to get, to get at was that uh, um, hearing some of the other uh, I keep saying YouTubers, um, which actually is another thing I wanted to bring up. Hearing the other podcasters um, use seem, use some eloquent words, and I'm, I'm throwing in words that may sound exciting. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm using them correctly, but I'm going to throw them in anyway. So be prepared for future podcasts from us where the words are incorrect, but still we're gonna damn sell fine it. words um so um yes yeah, so we'll we'll be using the big words if we can when we can even if they're wrong um but what has been great uh with this whole issue with words for me is youtube um being able to load up a youtube video and not have to read anything while somebody tells me exactly how to do something it's been fantastic see you are a big youtuber for whatever reason i almost never go to youtube for any how to's or anything that's because you don't do anything well you're that you're 100 percent correct but even those few times where i've got like five minutes where my anger isn't at volcano state that i'll go out uh, yeah i'll fix the belt on the on the lawnmower <laughs> yeah i'll look at it once yeah all right all right i'm gonna go call somebody and pay them 300 dollars to come fix it right well that that to me is is money wasted because you can go on youtube you can find exactly what your lawnmower make is and you can see somebody struggling with the same issue and maybe they aren't professionals but they they have the tools that you have they don't they don't have necessarily a um, power wrench that fixes the um, the deck constructor. Well, listen. They will have a spanner that fixes the part that you need to fix. No, so. I know how to change it. But you can't find it. This lawnmower fucking belt, it, it's as elusive as Bigfoot. Because I... It's as loose as Bigfoot? <laughs> it, it, sure. Elusive. Okay. That's a big word. Yeah. I used it right, too. I think we should drink every time we use a big word, because it's impressive. Well, then, impressive. That's a pretty big word. Then you got to define big word. Big big bird. <laughs> so, anywho, I, I took this damn belt, and I went to your big box stores. Uh, I went to a couple smaller big box stores. And then I went to a couple independent stores. None of them had it. And they're like, well, this is the closest one we got. And even trying to order them online, I don't like ordering things online. I like to walk into a store. I like to 
pick it up. I like to touch it. I like to look at it. I want to smell it. If I can taste it, I'll taste it. I want to do, I don't want to go on Amazon and it's just so impersonal. Impersonal? Yes. You mean easy? No, I don't like it though. <laughs> so and that's, and this is great because this is exactly where we're different. Um, I will go on Amazon and order anything. I know there's a lot of people probably out there listening to us right now, uh, all, all 12 million of you um, who don't like Amazon for some reason or other. Um, I, I'm a hundred percent for Amazon. I use it for everything. Um, um, yeah. It's when I when I can't find it on Amazon, I will make a page and put it on Amazon so I can buy it for myself. What I don't like, it, number one, it, well, like I was saying, I like to touch it, feel it, look at it, know what it's about. But then I also, I don't like the idea that someone's just delivering crap to my front door and somebody could come steal it. That's usually us. Probably. Because uh, we're neighbors. Uh, I guess we haven't uh, covered that part. But, no, we uh, have not. Yeah, so Mike and I are neighbors. Um, I steal his stuff, and he I doesn't know with, about it. I mess with his cars. He puts my mirrors back. I have his wheelbarrow. That's my wheelbarrow now. Um, anyway, but yes, we, uh, we are neighbors, and I steal his stuff, and that's why he's got a problem with Amazon. So um, I guess I can't blame him there. No, Amazon... I got nothing against Amazon or any of those pages. You can order and have it delivered the next day. Sometimes the same day. But sometimes we're not sponsored by Amazon, by the way. I know we're not. That's why I'm shitting on them. Um, um yeah, we're, we're gonna be big, so you might want to be nice to them. Okay, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> I love you. Um. No, it, I just, I don't know. I guess I'm old fashioned. I just, I, there's something about getting up, getting in the car, going to the store and going to look for what you want. I know it's time. I know it's energy. I know it's money, but I, I, I'd like to do that. Okay. Um, I won't a hundred percent disagree with you, but, um, if I can you find should, it online, because I am a hundred percent correct. No, correct about what? Because whatever you are I paying say. more for what you're getting. Yes, I'm I'm screwing over the the small mom and pop shops and the small local shops, but you are a hundred percent incorrect because you are paying more for what you're doing. You are correct, but you are also talking to a small business owner. Yes. So my Mike mind. owns a barbershop. If we, I think we covered that already, but so we're a couple of drinks in now. So my yeah. memory loses its uh, potency. A couple drinks and shots. Right. Um, but as a small business owner, my mindset is different. Uh, it's not go to Amazon and get stuff. It's to walk down the street from my shop and go to that independently owned co-op type uh you know art art store that has art goods that are made by local artisans or go down to for your paintings that you make yeah yeah yeah, yeah. with my sculptures sculptures and vases mm -hmm. um but that uh, there's something about that okay i i like that going to the stores and looking at stuff they've got look i i understand people that put a lot of effort into the their local wares and i absolutely agree that there is something about looking at local product and um local stores and um and i know this is this has gone way off topic from words but it's allowing us to use big words in our discussion so um it's kind of on topic so shut up um <laughs> that's my line <laughs> so um Yes, no, I, I, I agree. There's there's something to said, be said about the, the artisan um, stores. The, um, yeah, the artisan, which I believe is the right word to use. Um, the, so the the smaller, um, art-focused, uh, local um, stores that create their own product, 
those are fun to go to. Those are fun to look at because that's stuff you're not going to find on Amazon. Not, you're not going to find it on big stores. Right. Like, um, like Etsy? I'll shop on Etsy. I won't shop on Etsy. I can't even say it. Those are more artisan, though. Not all of them. I, 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 that's like, pin, I see Etsy as Pinterest. I, I don't understand how Pinterest works. And we're not going to get into that either yet because that's a whole discussion. I, it infuriates me how to use Pinterest. But, uh, um, yeah, no, so. I, I've never been on Pinterest. Good. I, I went on there once. I had to sign. I was looking for an image. Uh, now we're on it. Now we're on it. I was looking for an image, and it put me on Pinterest. I signed up, and then I started getting thousands of emails. I couldn't open the image that I wanted, and I, I gave up, and I deleted Pinterest. So, but, that you, was, but at one time, you had a Pinterest account. I did, yes, yes. And it's gone. It's long gone, just yeah. like my reading ability. <laughs> um, so, I, I yeah, getting back to, um, to the stores. Um, I understand that. I understand the, the local shopping and the walking into stores in that regard i um i'm all for that that that's good uh but if i need a um if i need a microphone for a podcast i'm not going to go to a local store because they're going to charge you two hundred dollars for something you get for a hundred dollars not necessarily necessarily no necessarily yes no yes you, listen yes you could i could tell you where to go for this microphone right now it's the it's for sale actually the building right now <laughs> the building's for sale because nobody could afford the microphones no, in it no the business is was there for decades but the guys retiring but okay. they sell these i will all but guarantee that we could walk in that store and say hey these are the type of microphones we're looking for one with a blue head one with a pink head. No, no, no. These these colors are added um, after hours. Well, yeah, and you still chose pink. Um, I chose red. Well, it's, that is, it's a it's a it's a pale red. Okay, and uh, we're talking about the um, the I, mufflers that you add to your microphone. Yeah, you, I apologize to any uh, audio uh, fans that I don't know what the technical term is. Um, I sh probably should know, but yeah, the, the, the things you you you. The things you put the over your microphone to, to make them safe yeah. from spit and <laughs> yeah, that was great. Audio probably right doesn't there. yeah, it probably doesn't help either when I'm specifically doing it. Um, but we could go to this store, and even if they weren't going out of say, out of business and liquidating, we could walk in there, and I bet we could walk out with the same price. Uh, you said he retired. I thought uh, he retired. He is. He's liquidating everything because oh, okay. he's retiring. Okay. But we could walk in there, and we could go in. And I bet you we could get these exact same microphones for within five dollars of what we paid for. Sounds like a challenge because I would guarantee that we wouldn't be able to. We would. Um, As a locally owned business, you tend to have a little bit more leeway on things at times, not usually. But if we go in and we're like, "Look, it, we're going to buy." These two microphones. We're gonna buy that. We want to buy this equalizer. We want to, you know, buy all these different pieces of equipment to get the podcast up and running. And if and then if you tell them, hey, I'll pay you in cash too. Usually, okay, we'll give you eight percent discount, like that, and it can bring your price right back into where. You would get this on Amazon. I and you, you that money you spent stays within your community. Yeah. Okay. The money staying in the community. So I understand paying a little bit more in order to support the local community. I'm and I'm not against that, but for me to have the thing that I need tomorrow, and at a what I believe is one of the cheapest prices around the entire country. I will go to Amazon and I will place the order. I will have that money placed. I'll have shipping guaranteed. I'll have notifications of when that product has arrived at my door with a picture, a photograph of that item at my door. And I'll know that the product's there. I'll go, I'll open my door and I'll see it there. I'll wave at the Amazon guy. I'll say, thank you. But see, you work from home. Well, true, true. We're, we don't work at home. 
True. And uh, guarant- uh, granted, there are situations where people are getting their packages stolen. Yes. And I don't want to be one of them. Um, you won't. You um, don't know that. No, I do. As soon as you say you won't, I, I do. Happen. Um, now we will I'm gonna... do a test. We will order a package. We will order a package and have it shipped to your house. And we will see if it's stolen. We'll leave it there for days. In fact, this goes back to a story. And I apologize once again, because this is not the words topic that we had initially started. But um, I'll use a big word. Um, uh, A gargantuan number of days ago. um, (laughs) (laughs) You don't use a big word just because you want to use. I I just did. So I can't do anything about it. Um, so a number of days ago, I ordered something on Amazon and... Was it gargantuan size? Uh, no, it was actually mediocre sized. Okay. <laughs> That's not that impressive of a word. Uh, right. But it's, it's about, a, it's impressive for me. Okay. I'm impressed. Okay. That's all that matters. We, you got to remember, you only read one book. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so many, 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 many days ago, um, I placed this order for a product and it arrived but I didn't know that because it arrived at a different door. And we have a lot of bushes around that door. And it's not a door we don't use. Um, it looks like the front door to our house, but it's not. We use the side door. Um, they use the other front door. Which is the side door, essentially. It's next to the garage. But it, what part of the house is it facing? Or is it on? It's, they're both facing the same side. But they're on the it, front. But the front door looks like the front door and has got bushes all around it. So And a decorative um, railing. And um, a tree above it. And the other one looks like your front door. Because you can tell that's where people go. No, no. But often we've had people go to this other door. So uh, give or take. Whatever. Um, This door is used occasionally. Um, We never use it. But people use it as our front door. Um, And this product was delivered to that door. Uh, We didn't know that. We complained. And uh, we got refunded. So month, a month later, uh, our kids are playing and they discover this package at this door that they, happen, they, they were playing hide and seek and they happened to hide in this, the, the front well, uh, door well of our uh, entryway of our, of our door. And they happened to see this, this package hanging there. It wasn't stolen. It was there still many a month, many days after but, it was delivered. It was, uh, and I'm putting my finger up to hold you because I'm finishing this, this, this thing. Um, I just want to say that I did write back to Amazon and I did say that we received the package. They said, um, carry on. You can, you can keep it. But you already gave the description of that door. It doesn't look like anybody uses it. I've known you for seven years six years seven years now never Too long never once have i ever wanted to go to that door because it does not look, i don't want you to go to that door it doesn't look welcome you know that's not the door no there's bushes all surrounding it the tree that drops i don't want you to go to the other door <laughs> well tough shit you got enough of them i'll go to them all you got about 19 doors in this house all our exterior and but that other door looks like your front door the, the 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 side door yes the garage door yes it looks like the the garage door yes 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 it looks like it it it, it can look like the front door but it, if somebody's walking up our, our lawn in the front they may choose the front door most people though park in the driveway and will get out and look for a path the path that you have leads to that door right next to your garage the the path actually leads to both of them right but you're going to stop at the one that seems most logical unless it's not logical because it's next to the garage you can see in there the garage no you can see in your house you can see it's your table it's your kitchen why are you looking at my house because i can anyway um so much for words yes so that's (laughs) that's the topic of uh shopping um we should probably wrap this one up since we're so far off topic now (laughs) that's fine because it's our first episode apparently Um, thanks mike yeah i I screwed the pooch on that one (laughs) you would um so uh that's our 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 i guess our first episode i i know we got we got off topic quite a bit there but i mean if you listen we got excited yes no if you listen back to any of the uh the the discussions or 
any of the podcasts. I'm not saying don't go, don't, don't, don't stop listening to us because we're we're fantastic. That's not a big word, um, but uh, you you'll hear that people get off topic, um, and usually they probably rein people in. Um, but uh, uh, we we covered a couple of topics. It's okay. We're allowed to do that. It's our it's our podcast, and. It's verbal diarrhea, not verbal diarrhea. Verbal laxatives. Verbal- <laughs> or no, not, laxatives. not even that. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it right eventually. Yeah, shout um, out to verbal laxatives on yes, that one. verbal laxatives. Um, so, yes, no, my uh, my sister actually complained about us using lyrical laxatives because she, um, she said, doesn't that sound too much like verbal diarrhea? Or uh, when we were talking about using verbal laxatives, doesn't that sound like verbal diarrhea? And I said... Not really, but thinking about it now and the way we've just um, kind of had verbal diarrhea, then yes, it, it does. So lyrical laxatives is it. Um, that's what our name is. Uh, this topic was words. We expanded it to shopping oh, a, a lot, bit, um, which may happen on future episodes. So um, I bet you can't wait to see what we talk about next because um, I have no clue. Neither do I. And we, we will figure it out when we get there. Even if we had a clue, I'm sure we would expand on it anyway and, yep. and go past it. Um, we have uh, we have been drinking Captain Morgan Loco Nut and Fireball and Genesee Light Beer tonight. Yes, yeah, so that is what this this episode is brought to you by. No, it's not. Not really. No, no it's not. But I'm just it's kidding. Not. Um, that that that's what brought us to this point. Yes, that's what that's what brought us to multiple topics. Um, but anyway, uh, I appreciate everybody listening, and if you're still with us, um, I I hope you enjoyed what we were talking about, and uh, if it, any of it made sense, um, I hope uh, we um, see you again on the next episode or here. Uh, we would like you to listen again. Yeah, I hope you listen again. I hope we see your ear holes on the next episode. I like that. Ear holes. Yeah, ear holes. Let's see your ear holes. Not the ones that you put your earrings in. The other bigger ones that have um, audio going in. And please clean your ears daily. There's nothing worse than earwax. Although, having a, a chunk of earwax popping out is fun. No, it's not. That's kind of fun. No, that's disgusting. That's kind of fun. Mm, when it, no. when you're talking and all of a sudden something pops in the air and, oh man, that's a piece of ear. Oh God, you're nasty. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, keep your ear holes clean um, and um, hair free uh, from a barber. He should know about those. I do clean the ears out with the hair. He shaves the ears really well. I should know. Yeah. Well, all right, folks. Yeah, this well, was the first episode. Yeah, thanks for listening. Went well. I <laughs> it went well up to this point. Yeah, we are lyrical laxatives. Yeah, and we'll I'm uh, s- I'm John. And I'm Mike. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Or when the laxatives kick in. When the laxatives kick in. Clean those ear holes. See you.